<laughs> Hello and welcome. I'm Peter, and we're here to make progress, not perfection. But on that way to progress, you've probably been hit by this move. Today's today's move that we're going to talk about is down back three. This attack from Horang. This is actually a really important key low for Horang because it's neutral on hit, right? It's neutral on hit, and it gives really good plus frames on counter hit. Plus seven. Pretty fucking good. Pretty fucking good low. And it has incredible range. We're at what? Range two? I think this will hit from like 2.2, 2.3. Oh, easy, easy. 2.4 maybe? Oh, easy, easy. 2.5? Oh, easy, easy. Damn, where does this move not hit from? We're at what, 2.6, 2.5? Oh, look at that range, look at that range. So this move is really good because it's has really, really good range and it high crushes. So if I record Horing doing Magic 4? Magic 4 just by itself uh, for Horang is what? Minus 6? Maybe minus 7? Minus 6? Okay. Minus 6. At minus 6, Horang can still crush jabs in this situation. Right? This is so good, this move. At minus 6, you're still crushing jabs. So, this is a very disruptive tool that has really, really good range. So the startup, 19 frames, right? It's kind of slow for a low attack at coming out at 19 frames, but it's not bad because it high crushes and has really, really good range. It is minus 13 on block, right? This move, if you happen to block it, minus 13. So, it is punishable. This attack, Afterwards, Horing is recovering in crouch, right? He's in crouch this whole time. To play around this move, you can think of it as a very linear attack. Generally speaking, you can usually sidewalk it whichever way you want. The preferred way I think you're supposed to sidewalk it is to sidewalk it to the left, I think. But right works as well. It just depends on your character's sidewalk. And even some of the fattest characters in the game. So even Marduk in this situation can sidewalk this right. Right? This move attack, he can sidewalk it right. He can also do it left. So let's go over the common mix-ups. We're, we're, we're going to talk about this move on hit. We're not going to talk about it on counter hit. Because on counter hit, he's at plus 7. Here, you just have to hold the mix, whatever the mix is afterwards. You just have to hold that. At plus seven, you might as well just assume that you got hit with a jab, and now you're just gonna have to hold this mix. Unless you're crazy and you wanna mash, but I'm gonna show you why that's probably not a good idea later. This is gonna be the first option we're gonna take a look at, which is down back three into while standing four four. So this is Horing, while standing four four is Horing's 11 frame punisher and it gives him plus four frames and puts him in right foot forward. This is the most common flow chart you will see that happens, right? This combo right here. This is the most common situation that you will absolutely see Horang's throw out. I'm gonna show you two ways to deal with this, with this setup right here. If you get hit by down back three from a distance, so let's say at a further range, what you can do to avoid this while standing four four, is you can sidewalk left or you can sidewalk right. Again, this is gonna depend on your character, right? You can avoid this altogether if you if you get hit by it at range. You can sidewalk right and then whiff punish. I believe you can also do it for sidewalk left. I think Brian might be a little chunky for it. Oh no, you can do this too. So either way you wanna step is fine. However, if you get caught up close, let's say you're at this range, right here, right, at range 1-0, right? You cannot step this right, and you cannot step this left. 
There is no way that you can step left or right unless you're a character who has a godlike sidestep or sidewalk or an evasive attack. I believe Lily and Alyssa are the characters that can sidewalk it left. Yeah. So if your character's name is Lily or Alyssa, maybe Zafina, you can step this up close. Let's say you happen to be a character like Dragonov um, or another character who doesn't exactly have a very good sidestep move and you get hit with this up close, right? What are your options? Well, the best options are actually the ones that are 10 frames. So if you have a 10 frame move that has counter hit properties, in the case of Dragonov, it would be one, two, one. This is actually really good in this situation. If you know Horang is going to do down back three into wall setting four, four, if you know they're going to do this, then your best option up close is just to mash your 10 frame counter hit move. So in the case of Brian, one, two, four is a great option. This gets, you guys won't believe how much this, this is flow charted. This is flow charted so hard. Down back three into wall setting four, four. So Brian's 124 is actually pretty good for this. 40 damage for them attempting to flow chart. Now, let's say you're let's say you're you're playing against a better Horang player, right? And you, he does this and then does this. And what you do is, you know, you punish it correctly, right? He does uh, down back three into while standing four four. And this happens to be this happens to be at range, right? And you launch him for it. There are ways for Horang to actually play around your sidestep. This 51 damage that you just took is all guaranteed simply because you decided that you wanted to step. And that's because down back three into wall standing three is basically homing unless you absolutely have ridiculous sidestep for a character. Right? There's no way that I avoid this. This, I have no way of avoiding it. I'm trying to sidestep, sidewalk. Nope, this is not gonna work at range. And it also won't work up close. Right, I'm up close, this still won't work. So this is the play around if Horing happen happens to hit down back three at range. Right, you wanna step? He can do while standing three in this situation to catch you from stepping. So in this case, then the question becomes, all right, so Horang has these two options, right? Down back three, while standing four, four, which we just talked about previously, which if you block at range, you can sidewalk and then whiff punish. But he also happens to have this into this practically tracking attack right so what is your options here well because while standing three from Horang comes out in 14 frames or 15 i guess in this scenario because of a pushback because of this this is where magic fours are super important so this is really important And you get your combo. But the universal option for both of these, the universal option for both of these options is just to use your 10 frame counter hit attack. To use your 10 frame universal. This way you don't really have to guess on these, right? You don't have to guess between while standing three and while standing four, four. You don't have to guess between these two options. So if you're Julia or mm, Bears or if you're Lars, you can just G Clef Cannon that shit. Now you're thinking like, well, okay, so there, then I can just constantly do my 10 frame. But in reality, it's not that simple because, well, Horian can play around your 10 frame as well. Right? He can play around your 10 frame in this situation as well. 
because you decided that you just wanted to press your luck and try to jab him in between, he can crouch cancel into a down forward two in this situation. This is kind of the danger in just autopiloting, like trying to do a jab of some sort, right? He can just launch you for doing this. And your play around in this situation would be, right? In this situation would just be to throw out your homing move, your fastest homing move. So if you try to do, you know, your 10, your 10 frame counter hit, you're just gonna get counter hit out because he's doing sidestep into a down four two. And like, as we talked about before, homing move. Homing move. Homing move. So these are this this is your play around if you find that Horing is doing sidestep into a down four two. Now for the options that are a little less scary. A little less scary. We have down back three into down back four. Down back three into full crouch three. And down back three into dick jab. I suppose I'll, I'll toss in this one. Down back three into crouch cancel down back three. This is, this sequence is very akin to Dragonov's down two into crouch cancel down two. If you try to do something in this situation, if you try to 10 frame pouring, this is what's gonna end up happening. He can loop this into this, right? And this is the same idea with any of these options. Down back three into down back four. Down back three into down full crouch three. And down back three into dick jab. All of these options are meant to prevent you from doing your 10 frame counter hit tool. The best way to counter any of these Low parry. That's your best option. Right? Low parry is your best friend here. To prevent any of these options. But in reality, I don't actually think low parrying is really worth it. I think actually, if you are really afraid of these lows, it's not that bad. It's really not that bad. Because these lows don't do that much damage. Right? I don't think it's necessarily worth it to be trying to low parry for this. Because if you try to low parry for this, you might just end up eating this. You just might end up eating that. It's just not worth it. Right? Low parrying and getting that, that's not good. Because this, as we established before, is uh, 51 damage. I'm on a low parry. Oh no! 51 damage. Not worth it. But yeah, these these lows, whatever, dude. Just just take these lows. Like I think, if you want to just like just take these lows, backdash out, right? Just backdash out, reestablish neutral. Towards the end of the round, if you really want to make a read, you can absolutely go for, you know, these reads on these lows. But if you have the health lead and you can spare it, just 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 back up, play neutral, okay? Just play back up, play neutral and be solid about it. Don't risk it. Thanks for watching guys and joining me on this video. Also, thank you so much patrons for your ever so gracious support. Without you, this would have not have been possible. And if you're new here and you like what you see, consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification icon. Below in the descriptions as always, I also have my links to my Discord, Twitter, Twitch, and Patreon page. See you next time.